really a worldwide phenomenon where the demand for ultra cold storage is so high right now. And I think everybody that is going to be potentially storing COVID-19 vaccine is looking to get their hands on something like this. We're talking a lot about getting the vaccine to the distribution points. I'm pretty confident in that system. Um, you know, in Pfizer, the company I'm on the board of has built specialized packaging to maintain the cold chain of the products. I think it's the last mile that's going to be the challenge in the communities, getting people into the vaccine distribution sites or getting it out into the communities and going into homes to vaccinate um, the people who are eligible for this. To ensure all of this can happen on such incredibly tight time frames, OWS and our partners have been running not only tabletop exercises, but actual field exercises for the shipment procedures. This week, for instance, we will be making test shipments with the ordering system that states will use, that is, performing shipments that don't contain actual product in order to ensure that all goes smoothly. If all goes well, we could be distributing vaccine soon after December 10th. As General Perna has shared, we believe we can distribute vaccine to all 64 jurisdictions within 24 hours of FDA authorization. Then, we hope administration could begin as soon as the product arrives. One of the private sector partners we've enlisted, CVS Health, has said that they expect to be vaccinating residents of nursing homes, one of the top priority groups, within 48 hours after FDA authorization.